Hey everybody, I hope you are doing well. For those who are new to this channel, I am Stephen E. I'm a writer, an actor, a screenwriter, and an author. And today we're doing um, a food vlog. We're just gonna go into Sonic quick and we're gonna see what Sonic has to offer. I haven't been to Sonic in a while. Um, around my area, we have two Sonics. We have, um, we have um, Wallingford and we have Milford. So I'm near the Milford Sonic right now. So we're gonna just see what Sonic has on their menu. And we're gonna just try, you know, one of their um, things and I'll let you know how it is. There's been times that I've come over here and their line is coming almost out the parking lot. <laughs> so let's give Sonic a shot. So that's what it looks like. There's people behind me, so I can't uh, go too crazy. Welcome to Sonic. My name is Shemaya. I'm to speak to you. Um, let me get, um, let me see. I'll take number two. Everything on it, ketchup, lettuce, mayo, mustard, onion, pickle, and tomato? Yes. Fries on top? Yes. Which one? Um, I'll take the, um, I'll take the fries. And the drink? Um, let me see. The Dr. Pepper Revenge. Okay. And that'll be it. 8.39. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, not sure if you got the menu, but hopefully I see you they also have like a seafood platter here too. I should have got that actually. But I'm going to just go with like a burger with everything on it, the fries. And I'm going to see about this thing called the um, Dr. Pepper Revenge. I'm like, what is Dr. Pepper Revenge? We're about to find out. Now I see why the line is long. I got here, I'm the second person in line, but I see one, two, three, three cars behind me. We're here frying the Dr. Pepper Renegade 839. Yep. What is the Renegade anyway? It's a different kind of Dr. Pepper. Okay, all right. It tastes like regular Dr. Pepper. Mm. So if you're expecting to get something different, you're not getting nothing different. It's Dr. Pepper. Which is fine anyway, because I drink Dr. Pepper. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you. Okay, so... These are the fries. This is the Dr. Pepper Renegade. And this is the burger. So I'm trying the fries right now. The fries are really good. Like I said, it's been quite a while since I've been to Sonic. Quite a few um, years. But I'm thinking next time I'm gonna give that uh, seafood platter a shot. Whoever thinks that you know a fast food restaurant will have a seafood platter, usually they're just doing fish sandwiches and stuff like that. But the fries are really good. Sonic, y'all have disappointed me on this. Um, they say it's supposed to taste like cinnamon, but it tastes just like regular Dr. Pepper. Unless they gave me the wrong one, that is possible. So, you know what? I'll go another trip. Um, not today, but I'll get this again and see what it tastes like. If it tastes, if it does taste like cinnamon, that means they gave me the wrong one. But this one tastes like regular Dr. Pepper. I taste no cinnamon in here. Don't you just love it when you get fries fresh and hot from a um, fast food place? Because I hate cold fries. And with just a little bit of salt, not too much salt. We're gonna take a look at this burger. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Let's see what this 
burger is all about. Now, I'm not sure about Sonic. You know, maybe you guys know. Do they make it fresh? Because the burger is really good. The burger tastes fresh like they just made it, which I'm thinking they did. Um, you know, sometimes you go to other places and they'll leave the burger sitting there. And then you'll get a cold burger. But this is burger's nice and hot. The cheese is melted. I can taste the freshness of the onions and of the tomato. It's really good. So if anybody's sleeping on Sonic, go out and give um, Sonic a shot. So the burgers and fries get the win. But this is regular Dr. Pepper. I don't taste anything different. But like I said, I'll be fair and I'll go back and I'll get it again. And if I taste the difference the second time, then I know they gave me regular Dr. Pepper. So back to the drawing board on this Sonic if it's regular if it's um does have the cinnamon in it. Because to me it tastes like regular Dr. Pepper. Okay, off to the bookstore. Guys, have you ever seen um, YouTuber Sonya be on it? Now, um, she usually goes to restaurants and they know how she likes her food and all that. So I got to take a tip from her because like she says, every dollar counts. And that is so true. Every dollar does count. So if you're going to go to these places, get your food the way that you want to get your food. Get it done the way you like to get it done so you're not dissatisfied with what you purchased and that doesn't have a bad taste in your mouth so we're in the lobby now I'm just gonna show you this book it is $7.99 get this book it's an excellent book and that book as well I want to show you some books that I'm looking at for my niece uh, rich kids money book and See if it discusses what ages it's for. Uh, but I found this one in the juvenile section. Um, use another one. And the third one is more for adults like how to teach your kids how to um, get a financial head start. I've been in this Barnes & Noble for a while and I'll show you what I picked up for my niece and a little something for myself. Um, as you can see in the display case, they had Cheesecake Factory cheesecakes so I'm gonna see if they taste anything like the Cheesecake Factory. So we're gonna do a little taste test in the car. I've never tried the one that I've gotten before at the Cheesecake Factory, but you know, I'll be fair and I'll give it a shot here and see how it goes. Okay, okay last month in Barnes and Noble, I got my niece um, books on black history and the month before that, I got her a book on, it was called um, How to Turn $100 into a Million Dollars. And this month, I'm getting her the Kids Money book. And I'm hoping, you know, these books that I sent her, it can educate her on a financial education. So when she gets older, she'll know how to manage her money. She'll know how to make money on her own and she won't have to always rely on a job to make money because some of us we go to work and we work nine to five and some of us we don't um we don't know how we would make it without that nine to five because some people are one to two paychecks from basically being out on the street so you know if you can give um young people an education now 
don't wait till they get to college. They should get the education as soon as they hit school. As soon as they hit elementary school, teach them about money. So I'm going to send this to her and I'm hoping, you know, she can get everything she can from this book. But on to our face test. Good, she gave me a fork. Okay, so this is the Red Velvet Cheesecake. And they say it's from it's Cheesecake Factory, but we're gonna see, you know, cause sometimes other companies have, um, you know, when there's like a Cheesecake Factory and they'll probably um, have somebody else make their cheesecakes for them and send them out to like either the grocery stores or to a company like Barnes and Noble. But I'm gonna taste this one. And then when I take that Cheesecake Factory um, trip, I'm gonna taste the red velvet one there and see if it's anywhere the same, but. Taste a lot of cream cheese. Um, I will tell you the cake part is dry. So, like I said, I don't know if the Cheesecake Factory makes it the same way or if it's even the exact same one at the Cheesecake Factory, but I promise I'm gonna let you know. Just um, don't get it from Barnes & Noble, it's dry. Um, but I'm gonna tell you, I do like the Cheesecake Factory. Um, when I was last there, I got the lemon meringue cheesecake and that lemon meringue cheesecake was off the hook. Usually my favorite from there is the pineapple upside down cheesecake, but now they only do it seasonally, so I can't get it right now. So Cheesecake Factory, y'all need to get up on that. I need my pineapple upside down cheesecake. I need it year round, not just, you know, only in the holiday season. Before I used to have it year round, so you need to get that back on the menu. But like I said, this one, this one from Barnes and Nobles is dry. So we're going to head back home to Barnes & Noble and look for some um, books on find anything financial education for your kids. Anything that can help your kids learn about money, learn about starting their own businesses, um, anything that they can learn, period. You know, you know, libraries aren't quite the same. Libraries don't have the books that a Barnes & Noble will have. Um, they can also learn online because education doesn't only stop in the school. Education doesn't only start in the school system. Education starts at home, and we as parents and um, grandparents, uncles, aunts, and everything, we're also responsible for that. You know, you know, you don't have to always get your kid a toy. You know, you can get them something that's going to benefit them in the long run. So basically, I'm making an investment in my niece's future because. I want her to be the best she can be. I want her to have all the advantages that she can have. I want her to have a great education. So um, education does not start at that school door. It starts at home. And it starts as us as being the village that's raising that child. So, you know, um, check out your Barnes & Noble for books on educating your kids on becoming entrepreneurs, learning about money, learning about stocks and investments. And if there aren't no books out there, at your Barnes and Noble, look online. Um, there's, you know, online. Everybody, sh I'm sure, has come out with um, something for kids. I know Dave Ramsey um, has something um, for kids. He also does things for adults. But I know he has a, um, a financial education for kids. But also, there needs to be um, something that teaches children how to um, invest in stocks. Um, and you know something? I'm gonna um, put that out to someone to write that book on how to teach children how to invest in stocks because I know um, there are a lot of 12 year olds that I've seen online they've invested in stocks and they're doing pretty well um, you know doing with their money and um, making investments you know with their allowance money so that should be able to start with um, you know as early as possible you know um, the parents should learn it and then you should be able to pass that down to your kids learn about investments because, uh, well, what I did was I drank the rest of that soda because they put so much ice in here. Remember, if you ever go out to a fast food restaurant, tell them less on the ice because you'll get just like um, 
like a little bit of soda and the rest of it's ice and you're paying all that money for soda and you just want to get you getting this little bit of soda you should have at least this whole cup worth full of soda so I end up putting some tea in here but like I said that's why I like Sonia be on it because Sonia will tell them to get her stuff right <laughs> you know sometimes she got to be a little stern on them and you know that's all right because like she says every dollar counts every dollar counts it's your money it counts it means something give your dollar an assignment i hope this video has been helpful to you and as always let's do this